So you're boring the crap out of yourself and your audience with the same old boring fills, and you have no idea what to do with them. Well, that's all right, man. Because as always, I got a fix for you. Five of them, as a matter of fact. So watch this cool intro and meet me back here in 10 seconds. First of all, man, don't feel bad about this, all right? Because you're not alone. Everybody in their first three to five years runs into this problem. Trying to create when you're on the drums, when you have a limited vocabulary, is just tough to do. Coming up with fills, it's not easy, man. Trust me on this. I was there myself for a long time in the beginning. Thankfully, and the good news is that it's a really simple approach to fixing this problem. And that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you five, what I call, fill elements, because I had to call them something. But basically what they are is just five different things that you can add to your fills to spruce them up. You can add one or any combination of the five or all five, whatever you wanna do, man. It's up to you. But creativity is the objective here. And I'm gonna show you how you can easily get creative with your fills. So how do we go about doing this? First things first, man. The first thing that we're gonna do is we need to break this thing down to its elementary preschool level, all right? So the way we're gonna approach doing this, forget about all of the theory and notes and all that kind of stuff. The cool thing about the drums is that a lot of what we do is just based on patterns. So we can take that approach when we go to learn stuff, and it just makes things a lot easier um, when you approach it that way. So the basic fill I'm going to use as an example is just a really super simple 16th note fill, two beats, all right? So da ka da ka da ka da ka da one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, boom. Normally when we play fills, we practice fills, that's how we do them. Right? We groove, dun, gat, dun, dun, gat, dun, dun, da, ka, da, ka, da, ka, da, ka, da, right? That's what we're going to do. So um, the first thing we need to do is strip away the layers. Let's strip away all the notes and just break it down to the subdivision. The subdivision is just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? Just eight notes. And all we're gonna do is just add different elements to those eight notes. So let's start with element number one. If you're playing your fills and you think they're boring, ask yourself this question. Are you incorporating the bass drum? As soon as you incorporate the kick into your fills, right away, you've tripled your options. Now the easiest way to practice this and the other four exercises that I'm going to show you, just grab yourself a, a sheet of paper and just literally just draw out or write out eight dots, okay? And you have an L, you have an R, and you have an F. Right, left, foot. Those are the three limbs that you're going you're gonna to play your ideas with. So just write down eight dots and then just randomize it. Just write down, you know, L, R, F, L, R, F, whatever, right? And play that combination and see what it sounds like. And then from there, just start to experiment until you come up with something cool.
Hello? Oh, hey, Jennifer Lopez. Yeah, I'd love to go out. Sure, you can bring Janet Jackson. <laughs> Fill element number two, incorporating the hi-hats. Treat your hi-hats as if it's another Tom. Why not, right? It's another voice, it's there on your kit, so work it into your fills. Hello? Oh, hey, Oprah. Two cars. <whistles> Element number three, unisons. I don't know if you know what unisons are. Basically, all it is is hitting two drums at the same time with the left hand and the right hand. Think of it as like playing chords on your drums. So just try to work out some ideas where you just throw in some unisons inside your fill and you can hit whatever two voices you want. Hello. Hey, Dave Matthews of the Dave Matthews Band. Fill in for Carter. Yeah, I can do that. 35 grand a show. <whistles> Fill element number four. Doubles. Are you playing doubles during your fill? Or are you just kind of hacking singles through the whole thing every time? Uh, once you start to incorporate doubles, things start to change a little bit. Things start to sound a little bit more, a little bit more dynamic, you know what I mean? And they feel actually cooler to play. Now, when you add that to the other stuff, right, you start playing doubles while you're incorporating the kick and also throwing some hi-hat in there inside that fill as well, things really start to take some cool shapes. Hello? Yeah, this is Rob Brown. Lifetime supply of bacon? <whistles> Fill element number five. This one makes you sound like a boss, man. When's the last time you played flams inside of your fills? Because that right there, man, that right there makes you sound like a musician.
Hello. Jackie Chan, what's up, man? You want me to be in Rush Hour 4? Wait a minute, is it going to be better than Rush Hour 3? So there you go, man. Those are five super basic examples of just simple things that you can add to your boring fills to make them more dynamic, more musical. They'll just sound better overall. They'll feel better to play, and you'll sound like a musician. This is one of the easiest and the best ways to expand your vocabulary on the drums because after doing this for a few months, you're going to come up with thousands of different ideas. You might not remember all of them or even like all of them, but you're definitely going to find some that you're going to use over and over again. So that's plenty to chew on right there, man. I'm going to just leave you with that. And remember, good things happen when you get creative. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to tell people where you learned this stuff, man. Share this video if you dig it. Like, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when the next new video is coming out. See you next video.